Happy New Year from the very happy home of Slough Town. A home where the Rebels are now unbeaten in the side's last 13 games across all competitions. There might be merely a one point and one league position between Scott Davis's boys and Taunton Town, but the stories surrounding today's teams off the pitch are a stark contrast. For the Peacocks, it's been players out the door left, right and centre over recent weeks, with chairman Kevin Sturmey admitting to, and I quote, 10% income but 100% expenditure for the month of October, November and December. Meanwhile, it's not even 24 hours since the Rebels welcomed one of the standout players of the early part of this Vanarama National League South campaign, Eza Ebuzomi. It's therefore no surprise to see the new Rebel 15 make today's match day squad, albeit only on the bench. In the starting 11, player manager Scott Davis makes only one change, with Chambers Perillon making way for Johnny Goddard, whose partner Lisa gave birth, of course, over the festive period. Congratulations once again to both of them. Rebels piling men forward. Bayliss has gone up, so is Jackman, so is Temi Oweka. he's just ever so slightly holding back a bit more, maybe making a later run. This is now Munash Sandiri, who's gone from range and that was a fantastic effort. Much alike his one on Monday, away at the Beavery. So both formations really matching up here inside this first 18 minutes. And there's the header. Oh, the chances keep on coming, really, for the Rebels, don't they, Gary? Yeah, but again, another ball into the box. Good delivery in. I think it was Minas there with the um, the kind of flicked, glancing effort. But good save from Lavacombe. Good strong hands pushing out for a slow corner. Lloyd James with the corner. One hand up in the air as it now comes in. Floats in towards the back post there was Nick Grimes getting up. Just towering over, I think it was Dan Bayliss there at the back post. But his header goes way over the top of Dan Lincoln's crossbar. Matty Lynch with the corner. In swinger, Temi has gone over there in the box. He won't need to get anything from it. Because there, with Mason Minas. That's why Scott Davis put him in the starting lineup. All those calls for Slavi Sparsov. Yes. Slavik Svarsov has been in great form of recent times. But Nathan Minas, that's now three in six games for him. And it is Slough Town 1, Taunton Town 0. Laying it back. There's the run of Tabu Minzamba. Minzamba gets the cross in, Tabu Minzamba, oh, and somehow Matt Jarvis nearly had his second goal of the season. I mean, that maybe explains why he's only got his one goal in well, what will be 19 games after this, because he was so su surprised, I think, as, as certainly his, his fans away to our left-hand side, Gary, <laughs> and that somehow crept into the, into the back of the net. Of course, the... Uh, the flag had, had gone up. From what we've seen in this first near 20 minutes of his debut, uh, Emizomi doesn't, doesn't seem so much like that. He seems much more of an out and out midfielder who's not looking to drop as deep. If you look now, he's even advanced past St. Deary. As David O'Bonner comes through here. David O'Bonner goes for the near post. It bounces off the post. It bounces off the wheel of the goal. Did that go out? Must have done. That was off the wheel of the goal there. It's also springed up, didn't it, as well? There he's been living. Josh Jackman down the line to David Ogbonner. Ogbonner. He'll find Matty Lynch. Lynch. God, Archer just peeled away there, but he peeled away too far. Fires from range. That's a wonderful effort from Ebu Zobi. Now come again to St. Deary. The ball's gone in. Can't, oh. Nearly broke to David Ogbonna there at the back post, but there was Nick Grimes. Lynch's wall comes in there, then Chambers for Rillen looking to get his head on it. 
Chambers Verlin gets up. Chambers Verlin, who started the game last time out away in Middlesex. Hampton and Richmond Borough. And Minas takes it down there. That was a that would have been a beautiful goal if that had gone into the back of the net, Gary. Takes it down on his chest, he swivels a bit. And off he gets it. Just couldn't get the power on it, could he? Yeah, I just wonder if he was conscious of that defender coming across him that he didn't want to make that full swing. This is now Ebizovi. He plays it right. Lynch. Ogbonna. He's worked absolutely tirelessly this afternoon, as he always does, David Ogbonna. Oh, such a problem to those. Just as we were picking up David Ogbonna and his expert dribbling skills. It's the man we were picking up earlier on, Manash Sandiri, and his superb long-range efforts. If that one in the first half where he pulled trigger from, what, 25 yards out, didn't put the shivers down the spines of the Taunton Town players, that will certainly have now. No, I don't mean another Manash and Deary spectacular. As the <laughs> shot gets fired there from quite some range by Cameron Evans. Cameron Evans, of course, we mentioned his brother Jack at the top of the show. It's such a heartwarming story for them when you look back at, at his career. Um, his brother uh, Jack actually suffered with cancer in, in his earlier years. Who probably thought the pair of them would end up breaking uh, through the Swansea City ranks together and making those appearances for the Welsh youth teams as the ball comes all the way back to the back post now and there is Sammy Sparsov. Three in three. There is nothing stopping this Bulgarian at the moment. Good play by Ogbonna down the right-hand side there, just dinking the ball over to the back post. Chambers brilliant, just very unselfishly there, just putting it on a play for Sparzov. Nice little cutback with the instep of his foot, and then just Sparzov just smashing that ball home. As the Rebel Army break into those ever more audible, Slough Town are oh, massive chance. Lynch. Sparsov to Chambers Perillon. This could be four, could it? There's Sparsov again. Slavi Sparsov. It's been blocked and it's gone off wide. This is turning into a real route, Gary, isn't it? But again, as you said there about the movement of Sparsov, just peeling away just into that left hand channel, just inside the box, just to create himself that bit of space. But Taunton do look ragged at the moment. <laughs> there goes the full time whistle. It finishes here at Harbour Park. Slough Town 3, Taunton Town 0. Well, it might be the last day of Christmas, but three points have been on offer here for both of these sides today. Three points have been gained by the Rebels, by three goals, and in the process, that man again, Slavi Sparsov has made it three in three games.